Christmas approaches, yet nothing could be less festive than the dreary weather towards the end of 1862. Displeased with the inactivity of McClellan, Lincoln directs Union General Burnside to go on the offensive and attack Richmond. Union guns shell Fredericksburg, setting the town on fire. The Union Army crosses the river and loots the city. Lee now has 75,000 men on the heights overlooking the burning city. Lee can't believe the Union would dare attack his well-fortified positions, but he misjudges Burnside's recklessness. The order is given. Burnside orders his men to attack Lee's two fronts. We hold that bridge, soldiers, or we won't be going home for Christmas. We'll be planted here till Judgment Day. When can we get this started? Everyone back home is counting on us. Now move! The Rebs have their reinforcements. We got no... Follow me or die where you stand. Don't forget me. You can still fight. Move! coming through here and they've got to be safe. Godspeed.
In the South, the enemy line is broken, but J. Early's division saves the day for the Confederacy, and the Union Army is repulsed. In the North, brigade after brigade attacks Mary's Heights, the bluffs overlooking the looted city. Fourteen assaults are beaten back before Burnside realizes his folly. That night, the temperature drops below freezing. Survivors build shelters with the bodies of the dead. They are encamped there all night and the rest of the next day before they are ordered to withdraw. Openly weeping, Burnside wants to personally lead a new charge, but his officers talk him out of it. The slaughter is horrendous. The Union loses 12,600 men, the South 5,300. Lee remarks, fortunately, war is so horrible. Otherwise, we could fall in love with it. The survivors finally limp back across the Rappahannock. What are the great sacrifice and lives accomplished? No one could say. <laughs>